Hello, my name's Dr Jenny Roberts and I'm part of a team of doctors and scientists who you usually don't get to meet in the clinic because we're back at the laboratory examining your anal pap test and for some of you your anal biopsy as well. The anal pap test is a very important part of your examination. Thousands of cells from your anal canal are collected on the swab and are then transferred into a vial of fixative or preservative solution for transport to the laboratory. In the laboratory, the cells preserved in the solution are transferred onto a microscope slide. Then coloured dyes are added to the slide to make the cells easier to examine under the microscope. The slide is first examined by a trained scientist called a cytologist and he or she carefully examines the whole area of the slide, looking at the thousands of cells from your anal canal that are on the slide. The cytologist marks any cells or areas which he or she is concerned about. Next, the pathologist, who's a doctor who has specialised in the diagnosis of disease, examines the slide, looking particularly at those areas or cells marked as potentially abnormal by the cytologist. The pathologist makes a final decision about the level of abnormality, if any, present on the slide and then issues a report to your clinic doctor explaining your level of risk for having anal precancer. For those of you who have an abnormality detected on your anal pap test, most of you will then undergo high resolution anoscopy. If the anoscopist sees worrying areas within your anal canal, he or she will take tissue biopsies. The biopsies will then be placed in a jar of fixative fluid for transport to the laboratory. In the laboratory, the tissue biopsies will undergo a series of processing steps, culminating in the embedding of your tissue into a block of paraffin wax. Ultra-thin sections of the paraffin wax are then sliced and placed on a microscope slide. Once again, we add stains or coloured dyes to facilitate examination of the tissue under the microscope. Because your biopsies have been taken from particular areas of the anal canal, and because they are pieces of tissue rather than cells scattered across the slide, biopsies are usually able to give us a better idea of how severe the abnormality in your anal canal is. Once again, the pathologist will issue a report to your clinic doctor explaining the severity of any abnormality which is present. Your clinic doctor and nurse are the best people to explain what your anal pap and anal biopsy reports mean, but I'll give you just a brief overview now so you have some idea of what to expect. The first thing we need to establish when we're examining your anal pap test under the microscope is whether enough cells have been collected from the lining of your anal canal. If not, we report the test as unsatisfactory and it will need to be repeated. This is quite common, so don't be alarmed. It doesn't mean that you or the doctor collecting the sample have done anything wrong. Once we've established that there are enough cells, we carefully look for abnormalities. If we see no abnormality, then the test is reported as negative. This is very reassuring, but because the anal pap test is not a perfect test, you will need to have another within the next few years. The anal pap test is good at detecting abnormalities, but is less good at telling us what level of abnormality we will expect to find. This is why anoscopy usually occurs after any abnormal pap test, no matter what level of abnormality has been reported. In broad terms, for both the anal pap test and the anal biopsy, abnormal reports will either be described as low grade or high grade. It is high grade disease that we are particularly concerned with finding. High grade disease can also be called precancer but not all high-grade disease will become cancer. High-grade disease is very common in some populations. Anal cancer is much less common. Low-grade abnormalities, on the other hand, are not regarded as being precancerous. They are a viral infection, a little like the common cold, and are usually temporary. 
They may be flat and not easily seen, or they may form warts that you are aware of. Always ask your clinic doctor or nurse to explain your report if there's any part of it which you don't understand.